everybody Ann here and today I'm going to make some peach butter using sliced peaches in the can and I've got a couple different brands here but they're all uh, peaches in light syrup so I drained most of the syrup out and I've already put them into the crock pot and to it I'm going to add some honey some ginger and some lemon juice so let's get to cooking first thing I'm going to add is three tablespoons of honey just get that down in there one tablespoon of lemon juice and one half teaspoon of ginger. And now we just want to stir it up, get everything all mixed. And if you wanted to beforehand, you could do an immersion blender down in there, or you can just send this through a regular blender. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna let them cook and get really, really soft. And then I'm gonna mash them with that there thing over there. <laughs> Masher thingy, whatever you call it. So I'm just gonna get this mixed up real good and then I'll come back. Alrighty, let's put the lid on and we're gonna set it on high and I'm gonna let it cook on my solar. Hopefully my solar will hold up all day long. But we're gonna find out. If not, I can figure out something else, put some gas in the generator and uh, put it on the generator, Dawn's generator. But we're gonna let it cook all day. So this is gonna take a long time because it's got a lot of fluid in there and that all has to cook down. The peaches basically need to just be so cooked that they are, um, you know, just falling apart. And then, um, well, we'll get to mashing and hopefully it's gonna be delicious. The solar is charged enough to be able to handle this, hopefully. I'm at my new spot, cooking peach butter. It's gonna be, oh my God, probably tomorrow morning before this is done. So I hope it works. Man, I'm out of breath, I've been working hard. So hopefully this peach butter will turn out awesome. And the peach butter is, I'd say it's done. I had CG taste it a few times. It's more chunky. It's not real smooth, but all those peaches did cook down. And with that masher that I had, or slicer, or I don't know what the heck you call those things. Someone educate me. What was that thing with the metal thing that you put down in it and mash it? <laughs> I'm so stupid. But anyhow, so the consistency is just right. I think what I'm gonna do is just spoon it in to these little containers, hopefully without spilling it. And let's see how much we get from three cans of peaches. We only got two of these little containers this time. And I think part of it is because I drained quite a bit of the fluid out, the light syrup out. And the light syrup, it's not very sweet. So what I ended up having to do is add a half a cup of brown sugar. And I just added that in the end. So I just like a little bit sweeter. CG likes it sweeter. So that's what we did. Just use all the ingredients plus just sweeten it to taste. And remember at the beginning I said that I only used like three, two or three tablespoons, three tablespoons of honey. Well, I also added a half cup of brown sugar and that made it perfect. So let me just take a little taste here. Get some on my finger. Mm. Oh, that's so good. CG said it was good too. And all this from canned peaches that I got for free. So I'm very, very happy. I'm very blessed and very thankful. All right, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.